Hi, it's Ginger Walker and welcome to The Give Back. This month we're recognizing Black History Month and we're spotlighting a local charity, Fail Safe Arrow, with Juanita Shanks. And we're also partnering with Orleans Bistro to do a charity function to help support the, uh, the local charity. So Juanita, can you tell us a little bit about what Fail Safe Era is? Sure, thank you, Ginger. Fail Safe Era is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that provides services, resources, and tools to individuals that have been affected by incarceration. I felt the need to give back to my community. There was a period of time with my husband's job that we relocated overseas. And during that time when I came back, I decided to really reevaluate my business and incorporate giving back into my business model. I realized I wanted to do more, so to be able to do more, I wanted to find like-minded people to join the team with me, and we became the Give Back Team. We want our clients to feel a part of that giving back, and so we ask them to select the charity of their choice that we donate to after their closing. I'm with Tisha Johnson, and we are at the Orleans Bistro and Grill in Massaponics. Hi, Tisha. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank for, you for coming. Thank you. Um, so. Just tell us a little bit about the, um, the restaurant and how you got started. Um, I opened Orleans Beach Journal Grill in October of 2017. Mm -hmm. um, I had a restaurant prior to Orleans Beach Journal Grill, which was out in um, Ladysmith at the Virginia Bazaar. Okay. And so me and my family got together and we said, you know what, let's just, you know, try this restaurant thing. And it was a weekend restaurant. And then, you know, it was going really well, a lot better than I had expected. And I got overwhelmed. That's and a good problem. That's a very good problem to have, but <laughs> yeah. we kept going and then management changed, so we had to um, we had to leave that location. And so I said, if I could ever open a restaurant again, I would. Okay. And then driving by one day with my husband here, um, we saw the first lease sign up, and we know this used to be a restaurant. It's a great location. Mm -hmm. And I said, I gave Bakos a call and said, hey, I want that building. And do you serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the weekends? Or tell me a little bit about, tell us a little bit about what we So, no, we have a full menu that we serve on um, every day. Mm -hmm. And we only have brunch on Sundays from 11 to 3. Okay. But otherwise, it's just lunch and dinner. Okay. Lunch, dinner, and entertainment. <laughs> well, we like that. <laughs> we like that a for lot. For sure. So, tell me a little bit about what was the inspiration for this particular restaurant? What, what inspired you? Well, um, I've lived in the Fredericksburg area for four years. I've been in the Virginia area for 22. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I, that I felt Fredericksburg could really um, glean and grow from was to have a place sort of like the TV show Cheers. Have you ever saw that show? I have. I, I, love Cheers, I grew actually. up on Cheers. So um, what I did was uh, I sat back and I talked with a few friends and I said, you know, I want a place where everybody comes together where it wasn't a, it wasn't labeled as a certain type of restaurant or bar. Mm -hmm. And we have a few local places here, not many. And so um, the inspiration came from bringing the community together and the entire community. I and that's that. been our goal. I love that. That's been our goal. Over good food. <laughs> great food, great food. So, and you do have a theme though. So can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration of where we're at? I mean, I'm looking yeah. at the decor and there's definitely a vibe in this, in this yes. restaurant. So I um, had the pleasure of visiting New Orleans oh, 20 plus years ago. And I absolutely fell in love with the energy of the people in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. When you go there, everybody loves everybody. Everybody's hugging, they're singing and dancing on the streets. I literally thought I left America. I was like, where, why didn't anybody tell me about this place? Right. And so then, you know, that was before I sat down and had a meal, which was absolutely to die for. Um, I woke up the next morning and went to Cafe de Mon and had beignets and coffee. And I was like, oh, does this have to end? And my job said, yes, it has to end. So then I came back and it's always been on my heart that if I could ever own a restaurant, it would have a New Orleans theme to it. Because they're really about bringing community together. So is there a popular dish or something that's, you know, ordered a little bit more than others on your menu? Yes, yeah, shrimp and grits. Ooh, that sounds so good. <laughs> Shrimp and grits is one of the most popular items, and the gumbo, of course. That sounds amazing. But we have everything. We have gumbo, we have etouffee, we have shrimp and grits, fried catfish, mac and cheese, collard greens. These are dishes that traditionally I hadn't found in this area. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to bring a different flavor. And I also wanted, like I said, to bring community together. And the best way to bring people together is over a good meal. 
That's what I've been taught. I, I am right there with you. <laughs> yes. So tell me a little bit about, um, I, you know, in speaking with you before we're sitting down now, yes. I know that you're very charitable. So tell me something or a little bit more about the events that you do here. Okay. So Orleans Be Strong Grill, the goal is to really bring the community together, nonprofits, um, for profits, just everyone. Mm-hmm. And how I figured I could do that is every month we highlight a charity of the month. That charity of the month, um, we, they receive all the contributions that I receive from the jukebox. And we have something called Wine Down Wednesday. Wine Down Wednesday is where you can come in and buy a bottle of wine for $12. And a dollar of that goes to um, local charities. I love that. So every month we donate a portion of our proceeds to local charities mm-hmm. to, support, um, to support the community. That's amazing. Yeah. And so this month we're actually celebrating um, Black History Month. Mm. And so can you tell me what, what does that mean to you? Um, wow. It means a lot of things to me. It's really neat that there is a month in the year where you can highlight the accomplishments and the contributions of African Americans and, um, you know, and what they've contributed to our country, our wonderful country. And just to kind of reflect on as a African American woman, some of the challenges that I've had, Mm -hmm. and to have a month where I can see people that have probably had some of the same challenges, Mm -hmm. but they overcame them, it's just extremely inspiring. So that brings us to something special that you're going to do um, as a charitable contribution with Failsafe, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a later date. But um, can you tell everyone how they can actually help Failsafe, which is a local organization? Yes and um, what you're offering to help support that charity. Okay, so um, for this month, um, what we're gonna do is our brunch on Sundays. We are going to offer um, 10% of all those sales will go to Failsafe for the entire month. So if you come out with your family, if you have brunch with us, we have things from like chicken and waffles, fish and grits, shrimp and grits. We've got omelets on there. Making me hungry. (laughs) I know, right? We've got a really yummy brunch menu. So if you come out, Celebrate brunch with us. 10% of all of those proceeds will go to Failsafe in honor of Black History Month. That's wonderful. Thank you so much no for doing problem. that. We and love it. Thank you for um, watching today, and we hope to see you on, well, Wednesdays for Wine Down Wednesday. Wine, Wednesdays for Wine Down Wednesdays. Karaoke nights, when are they? They are Thursday and Saturdays. Thursdays and Saturdays, mm-hmm. and on Sunday for brunch, which for the month of February will help support Failsafe. Fail safe. Thank you so much, and everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you.